Hello guys, it's Warcasm here from Rotat Game and Rotat Clan, and for today I have a huge, huge gameplay for you guys, and it's a world record with the M9A1, a 37 gun streak. And the gameplay, I have to say, it's pretty insane because it's a world record. We go gold this, and uh, the last one was, I suppose, 35, and we ended up getting a 37 gun streak uh, with the M9A1 on hardcore domination sovereign. So. On this match, I was um, I wasn't trapping too much. A few kills with the trap at the um, end of the match, but mainly I was in this building actually getting the ken for our ken with every weapon series, as you all as you all know. But um, yeah, the gameplay is pretty much straightforward. I had to I had to fast forward a few um, spots because I didn't see any enemies and I didn't want to rush too much because um, hardcore, of course, you guys understand a pistol against MTAR, you will lose with the pistol because you might not get the first shot and MTARs you can spray around or any kind of other automatic weapons but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay because it is a world record and we're gonna do more of these and it was a great gameplay I hope I was really happy getting this and our team was really pumped up when we googled this we just we didn't even know it was a world record at first but then we googled and was like wow but yeah um, but now I'm gonna move on to my main topic of course you guys know Advanced Warfare is coming on November the 4th, of course this year, um, and the multiplayer trailer was just released, and of course multiplayer gameplay and the community thing at, um, I think it was Germany this year, and I want to talk a little bit more about Advanced Warfare and um, my opin opin opinions on that, and well, first thing I thought was, wow, wow, when I saw the multiplayer thing, because when the single player thing and the little and then the little jump thing when they first really released it, I was like, "What? This, this can't work out." But when I saw what it really was, I was I was astonished. It was amazing. They they've done it so well in my opinion, and the, and the jumps are epic. They're not bad at all, and they're not overpowered, and it's it's just perfect. Everything was just in my opinion. It looked. It was an epic game, and I, and I'm really happy because I've I've been one of those players who's actually been saying that COD is a little bit been too much, same the last uh, past like, say three CODs, so now they did a big change. But of course, some people, which I I don't understand, like mm, COD is boring, and then when they do something, uh, something like that, then they're all pissed off because they did it. I don't understand it, but um, of course, it's some people's opinions and. Some people might not be the, well, of course, have the same opinions as else as everyone else, but, um, yeah, my opinion, it was a great game, of course, and then some people say that Titanfall, it's a copy of Titanfall, and now it's false, because they started creating the game exactly the same time as Titanfall was being created, so Sledgehammer did not copy Titanfall, so just for information, but, yeah, uh, what, I'm going to just talk about more a little bit about um, Advanced Warfare that I saw uh, when watching a few videos and I decided I'm going to make a video also and there's a lot of these videos out there and so the biggest thing of course is the jumps the biggest changes I mean are the jumps are the exosuits so the exosuits um, actually there's a kind of like a small perk with the exo abilities you can actually there's a lot of exo abilities like a real riot shield small for a little time and they have batteries that they run with yeah, it was awesome. It looked really clo cool. And there was a little in uh, invisibility, thi invisibility thing. That's the only thing that I was like, is it going to be too overpowered? But I think Sledgehammer is going to do a great job with um, getting it okay. Um, what else? Jumps, in my in my opinion, they worked really well and they made the game look freaking epic. It's going to be a lot of epic quick scoping and stuff like that because the snipers are good in the game. And I saw a few... Um, a uh, few guns also, and in my opinion, they they looked pretty stable and they looked pretty good. The guns, I, they didn't have too much recoil, and um, I also recognized that they added a laser gun that actually has no recoil but no reload. That's a that's a funny thing. I, I wanna I wanna test that, and I hope when Advanced Warfare comes, we can give you and provide you a lot of gameplay. We don't know if there's a nuclear um, kind of thing like they had on Black Ops 2. 
because the game, of course, is like next um, next generation game is probably going to be again something like Ghosts. Uh, so that generation was from like Black Ops 2. But yeah, it, yeah, it seemed really really nice, and I also saw the class setup for it. It's pretty much the same as Black Ops 2, but now even kill streaks are with it, so you don't even have to pick kill streaks if you don't want to. Which was, um, in my opinion, they should have done that before. And I also, I love customizing my character in Call of Duty, and finally I can do it properly because you can, you can pretty much, you can pretty much customize it every single way you want. But yeah, um, Advanced Warfare is probably going to be an epic game. And yeah, I got the camera right here, so I'm now going for the gun streak. But yeah, um, what else did I see really? Well, quick scoping is going to be is going to be working for sure because I've seen quick scoping and sniping games, uh, sniping gameplays, and I I th and I really hope that they that quick scope actually works, which it will of course, but um, because. There's a lot of people who like sniping, and then some people will say the game sucks if the sniping doesn't work like they want to. But of course, it's not going to be MV2 quick scope sniping, but whatever. It's going to be it's gonna, there's going to be quick scoping and drag scoping a lot. Um, well, the um, the good thing is that there's still the COD feeling, even though there's jumps, with, um, like double jumps and hover, hovering, which um, which we didn't have before. I think the game is still going to be almost it's gonna have the same COD feeling that we've had with every single COD feeling that we love and know and I'm really really happy that, that they kept that even though I first time I saw it I was like yes this is COD this is this is awesome this they did they did, they did a lot of changes but I like the changes and I'm really happy that they did that and well this gameplay is gonna end here but otherwise I can I can talk more about advanced warfare later in other videos, of course, when we get some more information about like nuclears and what we what we can actually post for you guys, but first we're gonna probably post like some nice gameplays, but not like depending, of course, if they, I hope they add a nuclear or chem the chem thing because I love getting chems and that's what makes, in my opinion, COD fun. If they don't have that, I don't know. We're gonna think about something else, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Please comment and like and sub. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.